All right, guys, so here we are with the Atari Pong by Arcade 1UP and in conjunction with Eunice. Um, so I am excited to take a look at this, uh, you know, together with you guys for the first time. This is obviously a, a tabletop Pong version, so um, interesting to see what this is like. I've never actually owned anything like this before, so I thought it was interesting for, you know, to bring out on the table when people are over and stuff like that. So people can have some fun reminiscing from the days that they used to play Pong in the arcades and stuff like that. And since I don't have room for those gigantic Pong tables, which I wouldn't, even if I had the room, I don't know if I'd spend the thousands of dollars on just a Pong game, uh, regardless of how cool it is, I think this was a good happy medium to get some Pong in here and see what it's like to, to bring those memories back. So let's go ahead and unbox this together and let's take a look and see if it did a good job. Gaming tech, eating brekkie is the gaming tech, going for a brekkie is the gaming tech, gaming techie is the gaming tech, gaming techie. Alright guys, so here we are with the unboxing of the Atari Pong uh, by Arcane one up in conjunction with Unis. So let's go ahead and open this up here. Alright, so here is the box here. Atari Pong there in the front. Really simplistic box design. Uh, nothing too special to speak about. We got some information there on the back uh, that it talks about. It's called the Mini Pong Junior. Small console that emulates the ping pong game. So... Never seen one of these in person yet, so we're doing this together. Oh, there's some more tape here on the back. All right, so taking this out of the box now. Of course, I would have it upside down. Put that to the side here. So we got an instruction manual here right at the top. We'll look at that in a minute. And here it is. The Atari Pong system. So... This has a pretty decent size screen. I think it says it's seven inches on the box. I believe is what they uh, list as as the saying on the back. No, uh, I'm sure it says it somewhere, but I'm pretty sure it's seven inches. But here is what the unit looks like, guys. So you can see there what it looks like there with the screen. Of course, we're going to turn it on here in a minute. So to see how everything feels and stuff like that. And it has a battery compartment here. Speakers on the bottom, it looks like. And a USB port here on the side. Not sure what that's for specifically, but there is a USB port there on the side. It's probably for charging. Because um, I think, if I'm not mistaken, that this can be charged. Yeah, considering that it comes with the plug. It doesn't have... Uh, one of the things that I already read before I got this thing that I was readily, really not happy with, because this thing costs... You know, 130 bucks brand new from Arcade One Up on their website, and the fact that it doesn't come with rechargeable any sort of rechargeable functionality at all is kind of crazy to me at that price point. Um, where they easily could have stuck something rechargeable in there, but instead you can put in your own batteries, get your own rechargeable batteries, or you can use it on the wall. So that's what this is for. So you don't have to use batteries all the time, but if you're going to take it portably, which most people when they're using this thing are probably going to want to take it portably. Um, then you either need to plug it into a wall or you need to have some sort of battery in there. Um, so, here it is. I do like the size of it, though. It feels like it would be a good two-player uh, size right here to be able to play. Um, let's see if the manual tells us anything that we need to know um, specifically. It says one lithium battery needs to be installed. The battery is not included, like I said. A capacity of 2600 mAh is recommended. Um, so that's what it recommends for that. Okay, so that is the manual. So let's go ahead and see if we can get this plugged in and uh, give you guys a closer look at this. Uh, I'm going to have to flip the camera around because the battery that's actually in here seems to be, and I'll take a look at this to be sure before the end of the video, but it looks like based on the instructions that you need to use a specific rechargeable battery. So it's not like you can just put double A's in here. So I'm going to have to show you guys, plug this in somewhere and uh, show you guys a top view of this. So let's go ahead and do it now. All right, guys, so here we are with the table here. So you can see player two is on this side, player one's on that side, and it's giving me some options here. So all I can do is hit launch over here from player one. And here we go. And it, you can play a CPU, or if you get another player to come in here, then obviously... You can also play against them as well. Um, so, obviously... Oh, just lost that one. 
So the way you launch the ball is you just hit the little launch button over here that's right next to me. These spinners do feel really good. They feel responsive so far, at least. And even though Pong is a simple game, I do like the little effect that every time the ball gets hit, that like it does that little sprite effect where a bunch of lo little squares go around it. So that's a cool little effect to give it some life. Uh, for a simple game like Pong, so I do like that. The only thing I wish you can do so far from what I'm getting at uh, here is I wish there was some sensitivity settings on the dial because sometimes you get caught like all the way in the corner and it doesn't seem like you're going to get there in time based on the sensitivity of the dial. So once you can change some of the sensitivity on here to rotate back and forth because you do have to be quick with this dial see like right there like you have to be quick with moving this dial so you can actually you know get there in time you can see it has a little battery percentage sitting there in the corner of the field and of course it's at 100% because I have it plugged into the wall The, license, the license, nice little music in the background is pretty good. Better than having nothing at all, that's for sure. And I do like the size of the screen, I will say. And the, and the square blocks. Again, Pong's a simple game. This isn't that hard. But it is. it does look ni nice and crisp as far as the screen goes. And the, the numbers, the 4v4, or the 4 scores that you're seeing there on the top. It does look nice and sharp. Nice little win effect. Now, something else you could do here on the side is there is a volume button. So this is that max volume. Or you can lower it using that. It's not a touch screen, so you can't use that. That definitely looks like an Android rocker for all of us who are Android fans and know what that looks like. Um, and there's also the on and off switch. And then there is the menu button. So you can see here, you can change the AI level. Um... So if you change the eye level to, you can put it all the way up to 10. And I had it at 5 before. Let's just put it up to 10 and see how good they are just uh, just to do it. Um, and then the volume, you can also change right through here without touching the back. And then you can also change the points. Uh, so the points can go up to, seems like a lot. Is it ever actually going to end, or is it just going to let me go to, like, 100 points? All right. I'm not going to keep scrolling, because apparently it's going to go forever, because... But you get the idea. You can add as many points. I don't know who in their right mind would play Pong up to, like, 30, but there it is. Um, and, like I said, you can adjust the volume, and then you just hit launch and launch again. So we have the, the AI now sitting at 10, so we'll see how good that ends up being. So... Let's give that another quick go just to see how the AI is like now. I do feel like these are really responsive. I just wish, like, uh, the actual dials, I think, are really responsive. I just think that, like, when you get stuck, and I guess that's probably the point because they want, you know, they want it to be scored and stuff. Maybe that's how it's supposed to be. But I feel like I wish I could adjust the sensitivity just a little bit to be a little bit more faster to move left and right. Because, uh, like I said, if you get stuck on one side and you're trying to move all the way over here, uh, depending on if you're on one side or the other, you're probably going to lose. But I think that's kind of, uh, I guess that's kind of the point here. But still wish it was a, uh, an option to touch the sensitivity. Let's just play a, uh, a couple of quick more. Let's see. He's definitely, he, uh, the AI is definitely, you know, obviously better at level 10 for sure. Um seems like the way I'm going to score on him is by hitting it, like, opposite side. Oops, messed that up completely. By hitting it opposite side on the edges of the corner of the pong like that um, and getting it to go fast from one way or the other because sh just shooting it back and forth doesn't seem like he's ever going to miss at this level. Nor shouldn't they either, so that's how it should be. Yeah, getting over there... Getting over there is pretty hard. I mean, I, you could spin it hard enough. You could spin it hard enough and get used to it. Um, but 
being that I've only started playing this right now. Um, it, it does take some getting used to here. Let's do this last one here. But I do like the way the dial feels. This is how Pong was meant to be played. I will say that. Um, let's see if he actually beats me because it's four to two. It's only up to five. So, um, but I, like I said, yeah, it, it definitely the dial of how you play Pong is definitely better than the way I usually play Pong, which is like some sort of Xbox controller or arcade stick or something like that. This is um, this is how it should be played for sure uh, with this rotary dial. Definitely much better to play this way. Getting to a close heated battle here. Ooh, almost got me there. Oh, let's go. 3-4. This is definitely how I'd play the game the whole time. Uh, I wouldn't even change the level from here. Because this is how I want it to be. I want it to be challenging. If I'm playing against the AI myself, this is exactly how I'd want it. But if you have kids and stuff and they want to uh, do it the other way, then obviously there's options for you. Oh no. All right. So, you can see how that works and like I said, there is a power off button that you can hit on the side and then it just powers off. Um and that's pretty much it. Um so I'm going to play a few matches. I'm going to continue playing this with my wife a little bit, see how it goes and stuff, and then we'll get to the table and I'll give you guys my final thoughts. All right, guys, so that was the overview of the gameplay of the Pong Jr. from Atari uh, in conjunction with Arcade 1-Up and Eunice. And, um, you know, for me, $130 for most people is not something that they're going to want to spend their money on this, uh, for sure. I mean, it's just Pong. There's nothing else you can do with it. Uh, it's not hacked or anything by, by anyone. I don't even know what's running this thing, if you can even run anything better on here. Uh, you can tell it's obviously running some form of old Android operating system based on that volume bar. But $130, you don't get rechargeable batteries, which is completely insane. So you have to plug it in. And then they make you plug it in. And this is the size cable that they give you. A three-foot cable that I couldn't even get to fit from my wall to the table. And they're like it's four feet apart. And I barely got it to fit there, as you guys saw in the overview. I had to keep it right at the edge of my table. Like, I understand that, like, this is a micro USB and everyone's going to have these laying around. So it's a mute point because I have other cables that are much longer than this. But just the out-of-box experience for this is, is, is kind of crazy, in my opinion, uh, with how, how this was actually done. Um, and then, like I said, the rechargeable battery not being in there is crazy. And the fact that you have to source your own. And it's not like we're talking about AA rechargeables. They're literally specific rechargeable batteries that I had to source out uh, that I'm still waiting to receive in the mail. Um, the actual experience with the dials is good. They feel good, like I said in the, in the overview and you guys saw in the gameplay. They work well. I just wish there was a way in, this, in the settings to adjust the sensitivity so I could easily more move it better. Because if you're on one corner of the screen and you need to move all the way to the other corner, you're probably going to lose that, that round um, based on the way that these are playing. Um, but it is a fun experience. And even though I think this is not going to be a product for a majority of the people out there, maybe for just collectors and really niche people like me, uh, the reason that I still like this product for my purposes is because this gives me, like, I like having people over and playing different games and stuff. And this gives, this gives me a cool option to put on the top of the table where people are going to be like, huh, what's that? And they sit down and they play it and they're familiar with Pong and they know exactly how it works and it's really easy for them to play. And it will be a fun game to play at parties and stuff like that. But as far as like, you know, playing this by yourself or anything besides a collector's piece or having it over for parties on the table uh for 130 dollars uh it, it's obviously a very very hard sell at that point especially with those knocks that i have against it with the battery the charger and uh the, the length of the charge of the battery and the adjusting the sensitivity options on it so um still a decent product but that's what it feels like and i do feel like the dials feel like they're going to last a while the buttons do feel good and, and feel like they're not going to break off or anything the plastic is plastic of course on the outside there's nothing else to say about that it is made of plastic it does got a little bit of weight to it though and it feels good on the table so guys that is my thoughts on the atari pong jr from arcade one up in, in conjunction with Eunice. and if you guys have any questions as always leave those comments down below if not thank you guys for watching till next time Tech, gaming techie is the gaming tech, gaming techie.
game in tech, eating bread, he is the game.